So, got a lot to sort out um, today. My one of my best friends turned up on the doorstep yesterday with a surprise bundle, my Christmas present, which is a nice pile of scrap for me. Um, she asked her neighbours basically uh, if they had any broken electronics, and yes they came good so she turned up with all these goodies for me so I want to try and get as much of this process today as I can because I've got a recycle centre run on booked for Tuesday we have to book because of the current pandemic so um that's booked in so I'd like to get it in in with this one which would be great uh, the other thing is I got this beauty um on free cycle I didn't film the pickup though unfortunately um but um, it just needed recovering while well, I've just put one of my covers on it and it's beautiful. It is solid, absolutely solid and it's really, really nice quality. It came from a very nice, very nice house, shall we say. So I'm really thrilled to have a seat so that I can actually, you know, when I'm up here for longer, I can actually sit down up there now. So yeah, so basically today I'm just going to try and uh, work my way through this lot. Um, and see how we get on okay so the first thing we've got is this Dimplex um, plug-in electric fire um, oh it does actually open <laughs> oh look yeah because the switches are here so this is steel that's also steel so Okay. Well, let's get into this thing. Okay, so I opened up this panel. Uh, behind there, it's um, just bulbs. So I will leave that. Um, so yeah, here, just what I want this cord, obviously. And then I'll be able to pull more through from the underneath because that'll be where the motor is. So this is the cord for me. And brass in the plug, always keep the plug. I like the fused plugs, um, they're better inside. They've got brass and copper inside, well, more of it. Um, so that's great chuck that in the rest of the plugs so now basically I need to access it from underneath because that's where the motor's going to be in there it's a heavy old chunk this I tell you nice bit of weight and value there okay so I'm going to undo all of these screws okay that was really easy just literally unscrewed all the screws and we've got this lovely motor so that should be free of that because I undid them all very nice too okay oh I might I may be able to pull out these actually yeah some of them <laughs> So it's a lovely cold Sunday. We put our Christmas decorations up yesterday, which was lovely. The children are so excited. It's it's great. I broke my own rule. I never go before December, but you know what? This year, I mean, I adore Christmas, but I don't go before December. But this year, it was absolutely necessary. Oh, this is that weird soft. Um, rubbery harder to break coating all right that's the motor much like the ones you get in fan ovens basically because it is a fan motor um 
probably just steal again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we've got um, an aluminium rotary lady in here. So that's aluminium. Everything else is steel. This will be steel too. And then, of course, you've got the actual motor in here. So this is this will have copper on it. So that's that's what I want. And then, of course, the wiring as well. Lovely. And that for me is what I want. And the rest will go <coughs> to the recycling centre. This is basically shred steel. Mm, nothing like a cup of tea early in the morning <sighs> on a Sunday, hey? Mm. I've still got to get this up. I've got loads to do today, but of course it's um, Sunday roast day as well. Uh, yesterday I, d I didn't get out here because basically it was taken up with Christmas fun. Right, next. Why don't we do a smallie? An old fashioned hair dryer, look at that. It's a brawn. <laughs> okay. Do not take into bathroom. That does look old, doesn't it? Okay, so first things first. This will have a fuse plug on it, I bet you. Yep. Watched a couple of lives last night, that was good. I was up to about 1 a.m. Um, obviously Raphael's first, and then um nice surprise there was a romantic live afterwards, so I just dipped into that too, which was nice. Something to do. Makes a change. I I, I often don't catch his actually, um, because of the time of day and stuff. So that was nice to be able to dip, just dip in there. Okie dokie, so that one screw is out, just needs a little bit of splicing. Hang on, let me just double check what time I'm hammering around at. Oh, perfect, no problem. You know, I wouldn't hammer up here too early, but that's nowhere near too early. Okay, this is very much sealed there, isn't it? <laughs> so, Helped it along its way. Sweet. You know me, guys. I'm not going to waste loads of time trying to get into there in a fiddly manner. No, no. All right. So this element here. Is a mixture. That's a weird. What even is that? It doesn't even feel like metal. No, it's not. That's why. Huh. Okay, so the element is um, just iron. So it's the motor that we want. Hmm. And he said that. Yeah, okay, so I want those connections. Motor in here. Can I get it out? Hmm. 
Mm, it's going to need another bash about, I think. So for a hobby scrapper, this is fine, but who would want to waste their time doing this if time is money, you know? It's not worth it for you. Ah, I've revealed a couple of screws under the plastic there. Alrighty, where's my... junk and then there's the little motor you can get a sneak peek in there with the goodies inside you see that it'll be a good little motor in here oh I can see that copper winding ew and someone's hair I'm gonna keep that up here to micro do that with some other bits Oh yeah, solid, absolutely solid. Hmm. Okay, so I just have to get it off of that bit. There we are then, that's the hairdryer. A bit of brass there. Nice little motor and some brass. I just found a tanty. Where were you from, I wonder? On some of the boards I was obviously depopulating. Okay, next. Let's do the fan. Oh. Well, this fan's seen better days. Gonna snip and pull. They might have a little bit of brass in them. I think, I think that is brass. Okay. More plastic for the plastic mountain. for me and another fuse to plug oh this stuff is building it's building up on me guys <laughs> I've got to take some time to actually do this stuff right now it's a reverse one <laughs> I like. It was hindering me. Okay, look at this. Very nice. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me, other people's. But look at this, lovely. Nice copper in there. Brilliant. Worth the faffing around, I would say, for someone like me. 
So you definitely get in there. Hey. That's the way we like it, eh? Look at that. Amazing. Very nice too. Sweet. And uh, we've got that as well. Yeah, so it's all just a shred. Next, I think we'll do the. Um, Trimmer. Yeah. Nice. So, obviously, first thing, nice cord. Lovely cord on these. The um, Blimo and the Black and Deckers tend to have, in my experience, the best ones. So that is sweet. A nice fused plug. Really got to get to do some cord stripping soon because uh, it is building up down there. Aluminium here. Right. Right, I'm going to undo all these screws and come back to you. So my friends, when the screws are so rusted in that you cannot turn them, there is something you can do. Hammer it with a big beast. And then bop, bop. There we go. Lovely. And it just needs a little tiny further bit of encumbrance. Ta da! Rather than faffing about with, you know, drilling out screws and what have you, I mean, it's a bit messy. Bits go everywhere, but nothing a broom can't sort. And there we have it. Lovely. Nice copper. Oh, so you can see the rust. I mean, this is what I was fighting against with the screws. It was just, um, you know, knackered. Nice motor in there. Lovely copper coils and copper in the mechanism. And the cord and that's that's all i want from this um as i said I, w I would have i would have got this aluminium shaft but i cannot get the screws out um and it's you know it's only a little bit so i'll just send the rest of that off to recycling and it will go into the scrap metal anyway into the shred so it matters not 
Okay, next was... Oh, this is heavy. Uh, the Vax. Vax Impact. Okay, so let's just get rid of this bit. Ooh. Okay, so, obviously... I want the cord. I've done quite a few vacuums lately and of course not only do they have the amazing cord they do have motors in as well I had a little discussion with uh, Dan from K&D scrapping about that he said it's nice to see someone else getting the motors out of the vacuums and yeah it is I always, always think you know when you see them at the side of the road when people just cord cut was a time. I hope someone else then goes and nabs it for the uh, motors, really. Right. Um, let's see if this, this is either be a Torque or a Phillips. <sighs> so dirty, it's hard to tell. No, I can't see that one. Let's see if I can see this one. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh yeah. Ha! <laughs> that is getting the life out of me. It's the cord. There you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so just splicing it open. All screws are out. Oh, stubborn. All right, so obviously there's more cable in here that goes to that feed. Nice. And then the motor is in here. in there and that's all junk let's just unclip this and there she is Just temporarily. All right. More plastic junk. Filters. All right. See it in there? Oh yes. And there we have it. Very nice. That's one. And now we've got one more of that bundle to do. But look. Right, last one. This is another back, so same principle, I guess. Cord. So I've got a load of cords in this bundle. Thank you so much, Justine. Can't wait to see what copper I get out of those. And another fused plug. Right. Same deal. Get rid of the uh, bucket. Um, this is 
a bit smaller. Hopefully these ones will undo easily. Let's see. Yep, easily enough. Okay, I'll come back to you. Okay, so that's all screws open. And it's now just a case of awkwardly splicing the thing open. brass connectors there. Ooh, just made a change on a nice Sunday afternoon having a little marathon scrap out session. Oh, okay, done them all. the other one. Nice. Oh, this one smells good. Oily. <laughs> we like the oily smell. Okie doke. Nice. So that's the comparison of the two. Funnily enough, the smaller Hoover actually has the bigger motor. There's the specs. There we go. 230. So this one's 230 volts. This one's 220 to 240. Obviously the different regulations. And powerage. Right, so I have <laughs> I have done the scrap out of all the stuff she gave me. So awesome, got some lovely copper, loads of cord, can't wait to strip that. Got some lovely copper in these motors as well, which is brilliant. So I'm gonna add up to copper that looks like this. Love it. Okay, well, there we go guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, Justine. Love it, great Christmas present. Happy day scrapping. Um, and catch you later. All right, thanks guys, bye.